Hey everybody, I'm Rob the Ranger. That's a river full of crocodiles. There's some trees. That's all irrelevant. Enjoy the video. Rob, yes. Is this position okay? Or? I think it's all right. All right.
tuala. Peri ona tengah mana? Kompo iya ma. Ada lepun guru na barbaran tak boleh terus. Kini agen al. Jadi betul. Dan ni semua ni na lo ni kiri kiri. Mungkin tuan awal ini dengan kita nak jadi. Nibati ada orang yang terkenal. Ay, ini kan, ini kan tu yang fikir dengan si Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ini kita kalau pun, ni ada yang ambil, tu yang terkenal. Ini ada yang jual orang. Ini ada yang salah satu orang lain. Eh? Adi? Nanti, nanti kalau fikir ini ni, ni kata ini kau yang terkenal.
Kau nak lagi? Kau dia bau ni entah mana. Kau yang kaya long ni memang boleh. 
Hello to everyone that's joined. Nobody's asking questions. So just say hello. It's very windy, so I don't know if you can hear me. First question, how old are the cubs, Jakes? How old are these cubs? How old are the cubs? Nine months. Nine months. Cubs are nine months. 
still quite small in that case. We've actually been sitting here quite a while waiting for it to feed. Made the kill before we set out and drive at three o'clock. Well over an hour, just been sleeping. Just the one cub starting to feed now. scavengers inside. There's just a few vultures sitting in the grass. Quite far away for now though. The weather, as you can hear, it's very windy. It's also very, very dry. Hopefully, this wind is bringing some rain. This would you really want us to pray? It is an impala, female impala, very deep. See them uh, sitting up, staying alert, just watching towards where the vultures are. A couple of them still flying around. Uh, she knows that vultures may attract the hyenas, getting closer and closer to sunset. Comes higher. She's got to make sure everything's safe. She will want to be able to move up and away as soon as any hyenas come on the seat. But, uh, if they were to sleep, a very good chance of catching the birds and killing the birds. much like to go on an African safari and see the animals up close and personal. It is very easy to book a safari. Um, it's quite easy to travel to Africa from everywhere. Um, obviously, the pandemic and restrictions, people are worried about that. There's actually very few regulations um, in, in Africa and in safari. Most of the countries are starting to drop the pre-arrival uh, PCR test. So, 
getting easier by the day. And it's not as expensive as many people think. You can find a quite nice budget safari. Yes, the little bit, most of the little beasts have gone south. There are some still at the reserve. There's been a lot more this year um, that have been left behind after the migration than we often see. It's uh, not big numbers, obviously, that we get during the main season. Any scavengers inside? There's just a few vultures sitting in the grass, um, quite far away for now, though. Yes, hopefully these cubs make it. Fortunately, very few cheetah cubs do make it. So. How is the weather? As you can hear, it's very windy here. It's a very, very dry. Hopefully this wind is bringing some rain. Is I doubt they're going to finish this impala before any other predators come. in the evening. The sun is 
sunset in about half an hour. near anywhere this afternoon so I couldn't tell you. It's been very hot so I wouldn't have thought they'd be very active. Losing the kill. His family is obviously not worried about that. They made this kill before three o'clock this afternoon. It's now nearly six o'clock. They basically only just opened the back of it and a bit of a chew. I'm still constantly looking around, even though she wants to feed. Got to stay on alert. Basically, her whole life she's got to stay on alert. I'm not sure of the situation when she made the kill. It's very seldom they stumble upon the situation. They usually actively look for food. It's, it's likely they're on the lookout. I'm hoping to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Where they can hide the kill. Um, not really. Really, once it's opened up like they're doing now, the smell is going to be strong. And even if they were to take it into a bush or somewhere in the thickets, the hyenas would still be able to smell it and find it. So, uh, the main thing is to eat as much as possible now.
get burns the skin no They'll cut the skin to get into the meat. They want to get the, the meat the more nutritious spots. The skin's not very nutritious. So you'll see you'll see how the mother's eating now. Her nose is between the skin and the meat. And she just cuts the skin off the bits of meat that she pulls. Any news of Longface? Jackson, have you heard any update on Longface this week? Yeah. Where was he? in between summers. And uh, right now, there's no big sellers in the Sahil. All the way down there. Um, you probably can't hear Jackson because he's in the car and outside. Uh, but yes, Longface has been seen down in the south of the reserve in the Sand River area. Kasara's mother's name. So who's Kasara's mother? Kasara's mother. Yeah, but who's her mother? Uh, we don't, of course, because you know, Kasara is from Lebanon, so we don't know. Okay. Okay. All right. And then Kasara is the mother of the cubs here. Her mother is a uh, cheetah from the Conservancy, so we don't know the backstory particularly much. We identified the sexes of the cubs. One is male. One male, one female. Babies? Yeah. One male, one female. Where is the hyena? I'm sure the hyenas are on their way. We are about three, four hundred meters behind us. Was a very active hyena den a couple of months ago, so they're around. gets too dark to film, I guess. Which isn't going to be that much long. This meal holds them for a day or two. Can, if, if they get a full stomach, it'll last. It'll, they won't have to eat for another week, a uh, week and a half or so. But they would like to eat every day if they could.
sesuai yang mau One should open the carcass. Well, they they don't have the the strong carnassials the other cats have to to cut open the carcass easily. The mouth is very very small, which limits them to be able to eat so fast. These are the mother's first little ones. No, no, she had a, another litter. She raised another cub uh, last year. Introduced to places where there are less hyenas and lions, there are less hyenas and lions, there's also less prey. That's the problem. The, the reserves are the safe places for, for the cheetahs, but the reserves where there's high prey density and high predator density.
There is nothing they can do really to hide the kill. Just how it goes. She just hunt if they're hungry. They will not hunt if they're completely full because they can't run fast. But if they're not completely full, that means they're hungry. She knows this time of the day it's hyenas start getting active. She knows she's close to where there are hyenas. She was in this area last night. There was a hyena bothering them last night. So she knows she's got to be very alert now. See how the light is changing, how the sun is getting lower and lower and lower. The hyenas get more and more likely to be active. chance to get in and eat as much as she can. And covers out the way. Hyenas, leopards, lions will all take an opportunity that presents itself to make a kill, even if they've got a kill on the go already. Leopards especially, leopards will sometimes have two or three different kills on the same tree. There is a book on the Mara flora. I don't know to get back to you when I get back to camp. Uh, if you can drop me a message on my Facebook page or something about that, and I can get back to you more easily than trying to find you on YouTube. So, but I'm sure there's definitely something. For internal organs first, often when the first thing they do when they open up is eat the liver. When we got here, it wasn't it like they had eaten something, or it wasn't it was really little eaten, so it's entirely possible that they took some of the internals out ready. Natural sound would be better if it wasn't so windy though. Done to have a rest with very full bellies.
like birds calling, but you're right, there's not a lot of bird chirping. It's a bit noisier in about 20 minutes or so with the birds. Question about would we try and stop the hyenas from getting the cubs? Yes, yes, we would. The, the, the cheetah project are here, so they would uh, be in charge of organising that and uh, monitoring the, the, the family here, so making sure. The project also makes sure that nobody drives too close. It's good to have them around. I think I might be ready for a rest now. Rest. Do we know if cheetah numbers are increasing in the morning? They, they are. Um, they have been at least. See what happens now with the drought, how they do this this year. But recently they've been fairly successful. was lions or hyenas definitely that collar would be very much gone. You've got to remember Chicha have only got very little stomachs compared to those guys, so yeah, as far as percentage of body weight goes, they've eaten as much as lions or hyenas would in the same time. Cheetah have vanished from a lot of places, not just North Africa, um, Arabian Peninsula, India, Southern Europe, all places where cheetah used to live. Now it's, there's one very small pocket of uh, population of cheetahs in Iran, the rest are scattered around in Africa in very low numbers. The thing with Kruger, the reason they don't interfere with the animals is they are 
really closed system. There's uh, only a certain amount of creatures that can live in an enclosed system, so they let nature control the population numbers. If they could be more of any particular species, they would breed and there would be more. Now, with Kenya, the reserves aren't enclosed. The animals can move in and out of the reserve and they come into contact with a lot of people. So to mitigate the loss of animals by human-wildlife conflict, they do interfere with natural situations uh, because the numbers are not naturally sustaining themselves because of people. Yes, it is a shame that hyenas are considered Yes, it's a shame that hyenas are considered nasty and horrible. They don't do anything that lions don't do. Lions would just as happily come and steal this kill and kill the cubs. And uh, we saw that happen uh, about a year ago. They mine these cubs. Yeah. It was they mine these cubs on an impala kill. Lion came and killed a cub and stole the kill. So, I hate on hyenas but then they hate lions for the same reasons, but people don't. People love lions because they're pretty. Hyenas get all the hate because they're not pretty. Their actions are no different to other predators in the most part. Everybody says the way the hyenas kill, blah, 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 blah. Lions will eat their prey alive as soon as it's down, immobilized. It's, it's no different to hyenas doing it. Um, and a lot of the time, when hyenas take larger prey, uh, yes, they rip it apart and disembowel it, but the animal goes into shock and it's dead a lot quicker than when a lion has it by the throat and suffocating it slowly for 20, 30 minutes. The hyenas are finished eating by that time. Hyenas, the population is higher than lions. Um, in some areas, yes, but I'm not sure overall. The numbers are fairly similar across the whole of Africa. Cubs, cubs are nine months old, wild dogs, yes, there is a pack in uh, more north the neck area. Uh, we saw in September, we saw a couple of dogs that had come in from Tanzania, went to the reserve. Wild dogs managed to do blah, blah, blah. Hyenas hunt. 60 to 70 percent of their own food. Uh, in a lot of areas, lions steal more kills from hyenas than hyenas steal from lions.
one of the big problems with the population was uh, disease, cane on distemper, rabies. Wiped out a lot of their population, and they're only just starting to come back, just starting to recover. Very few numbers. They did try a reintroduction project in Serengeti, I think, and the animals that they brought in didn't settle, didn't like the area. So they rather letting them, the small packs, grow on the edges in the conservancies and hopefully their dispersal packs will start to populate the main reserves again. They do have a, a large stomach, large capacity for eating because they can't defend the kill. They have to eat as much as they can and take it with them. Hello, Robert in Berlin. It's a great name. I killed more by humans than lions. I use lions. lions uh, I am much more likely to be killed. How can you subscribe to the channel? There should be a subscribe button somewhere underneath the video, the red button. Danny G, how old are the cubs? They are nine months old. James in the Philippines and Happy New Year to DJ Vibes. Happy New Year to everyone. You haven't heard Happy New Year already? thing that annoys you with African authorities is the lack of protection. What do you think this reserve is for? Many African countries have huge many African countries have huge reserves uh, that are set aside for the animals to live their natural lives with minimal interference. Allowing humans to move in humans have been here the whole time with the animals. You have to understand that. Africa is where humans came from. The problem is building and permaculture and things like that. More nomadic lifestyle is better for everybody. What age does the Chichitakab have to fend for itself? Usually once they're about a year and a half. And then leave them. There are only two cubs. Uh, how many were there to start with, Jackson? Six. Six. And we don't know what happened to the others. The all, all, uh, one of the, one of this, uh, the daughter now mostly has seven cubs. Yeah. Was, but all survived. Nice. But these ones, lions, hyenas, we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. Exactly what happened to the other four cups? The news of Marani. Marani was seen a couple of days ago. Not like me, but he was seen. I saw pictures of him. Not where he is at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, 
Reserve Rangers and anti-poaching team. They have to say to us, did four cups done four, four cups disappeared, yes. Uh, whoever's complaining about the quality, I'm streaming here in 4K. What goes out to you is nothing to do with what I can do. It depends on the network, depends on your network. Um, yeah, it looks perfect from here. I'll upload the uh, original 4K footage eventually when I get a chance. But uh, yeah, network throttle things both sides, this side, YouTube side, your side even. So, I can't do anything about the quality that you're getting. Yes, Robert. How's it going? Nice. Nice. Yes. Yep. All good. Say hello to all the people watching. Um, say hello. Yes. Yeah, 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 the yeah, Rangers yeah, are saying hello to everybody. Yeah. They're doing yeah, a good they're job. On, I'm life, protecting all the animals. Oh. It's a little bit early for the hyenas, yeah. um, but they will come, they will come, but whether we still have light to film will come, I don't know approximately how far we are from the tube. Let me zoom out to give you an idea. That's, uh, what is that, 20, 30 meters or so? Didn't know why white runners never established themselves. Oh, they were here. They were here. They all got killed. They all got uh, hunted for their horns. Whether it was European hunters in the early days or poachers later. Both northern and southern white rhino were uh, naturally occurring in Kenya. Now there are only two northern white rhinos left and very few southern white rhinos. There is a rhino sanctuary in the Mara for southern white rhinos. <laughs> There's been two instances in the last couple of years where cheetah have given birth to seven cubs. Maximum we've seen with leopard is um, four, hyenas possibly three. Lions, uh, occasionally you'll get six cubs in litter with lions, but it's usually three or four. Yeah, seven in the wild is a lot. Um, uh, the one a couple of years ago, Sidigi, that had seven, uh, was the first time it been recorded in the wild, seven cubs. And the other one with seven cubs is actually Kisaru's daughter. Uh, the, yeah, her previous cup has got seven cups at the moment, and she's doing quite well with the conservancies. It's been recorded a couple of times in captivity by seven cups. What is the weather right now? It's windy, it's cool at night time, it's extremely hot and dry in the daytime. Um, we, we didn't get rains uh, that we usually get in November and December, which has uh, made the, the whole thing that, that there's no humidity in there, it's very dry heat. Starting to. Very 
clouds yeah, for five, ten minutes and be gone completely. With the sun going down, we'd expect the hyenas to arrive. Any time from now is when we'd expect the hyenas to arrive. Her stomach is now. Many of you were here at the beginning. It's certainly not that full.
you all over and show you the sunset whilst it's going. The sunset over here. Very alert now, I don't know if she's spotted the inevitable hyenas. Entirely possible. Let's see how she continues to react. <coughs> for a bit of cleaning. Blow the feet of his face.
the sun is almost gone. You can hear the other vehicles are starting to move. The sunset means the reserve is closing. So that means the live stream also has to close. Thank you very much to everyone for joining in. Hopefully, do some more live streams over the next couple of weeks. See you next time. Seventy-five hours, thirty-six minutes, and six seconds of people watching. Seventy-five hours, seventy-five. Three thousand people, or two thousand eight hundred and twenty-three. Seventy-five hours. How many people? Two thousand eight hundred and twenty-three. Two thousand eight hundred and twenty-three. Mm -hmm. And then it's available after live as well. Seventy-three hours. Yep, seventy-three hours watched. <laughs> Two days ago. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Put the notifications on if you want to watch more videos, especially if you want to watch the live stuff. Uh, in the description there's lots of stuff to have a look at. Go and click all those links. Just do all the normal stuff. Thank you. So here's a couple of links to more videos on my channel that you might want to check out. Also the social networks. You can follow me there for live updates, pictures, etc. from Safari.